guys welcome back to my channel I'm really happy you're all here and in today's video I have a wantable cozy tober box to share with you so regular viewers of my channel will know that my last couple of wantable boxes have been just a little bit off so when I got the email that they were offering the cozy tober box for a five dollar styling fee I thought okay I'm going to give it a try. Hopefully I can turn around my wantable bad luck that I have been having recently. So before I did place this order for this Cozy Tober box, I went through the stream on Wantable and I rejected or declined or whatever all of the hatchy, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, the brush knit. I rejected every piece of brush knit that I possibly could because I really find that that's what they're sending me a lot of lately and I don't really like it. It just doesn't hold up well for me. So I did go ahead and do that and I also added some sweaters and things that I thought were cute onto my request, my wish list. So let's go ahead, we will see what they sent me. I'm excited to open this up. So of course in the description box below, I'm gonna have all the details regarding Wannable in case you're not familiar. And then I'm also going to put right here the time that the try-on starts. So if you'd rather jump right over to the try-on, you can go ahead and do that. But for everyone else, here is my bundle. And it is a big one. And there was a piece of jewelry here too. All right, I'm really excited to see what they sent, so let's go ahead and open this up. All right, the first thing I pulled out is a pair of jeans. Oh, and oh my goodness. Once again, they have sent me a size, the first thing I saw on the tag is a size 10 petite. They did this to me a couple of boxes ago. If you happen to be new to my channel, I am 5'9", I am anything but petite. And these are a pair of petite pants. So these are definitely not gonna work out. They are a pair of the Democracy, the Absolution ankle skimmer. So for me, they're gonna be more like a calf skimmer. So I'm really not sure what the issue is, why they're not reading my notes that I am not petite. But that's the first thing. So, oh no, that's not the way I wanted to start off this box. Okay, it's, hopefully it's gonna get better. All right, the next thing we have are, looks like they're sweatpants here. What's the brand? Z Supply. And these are a quilted sweatpant. They do have the elastic at the ankle. Um, I mean, these are different. I'm definitely gonna give them a try. The next thing we have, this looks like a shacket. It's a Matty M and it's really soft. Let me get it close here so you can see. It's Is it like a taupe or black stripe? Very stretchy. That could be cute. What do we have here? Okay, here we have a Z Supply. Um, this is a, looks like a V-neck sweatshirt, kind of like a tunic style. Um, I also have put in my notes that I'm trying to avoid black. Uh, this looks like black to me, but um, so we will we'll give it a try. Okay, the next thing we have, this is a sweater from Vigos, and oh my gosh, is this heavy. <laughs> this is a heavy sweater. It is a cardigan style, and I swear I have never felt a sweater this thick. Um, not sure how I'm going to like that on me because this is going to add quite a bit of bulk, but we'll try it. And the last item here, this is also from Z Supply. This is cute. This is like an oatmeal mock neck sweater. It looks to be like a little bit shorter. This one I really like, so I'm excited to try that. And then part of the Cozy Tober box was this free Sherpa belt bag. And it has this cute rose gold strap. It is cute. I don't, honestly, I don't know if I would ever use this or not, but it is cute. But that was the free gift. All right, so I'm going to try to keep an open mind and be positive while I try on all these pieces for you. So I will go ahead and do that, and I will be right back. All right, I am back with the first couple of pieces, but I wanted to tell you I'm not even going to bother trying on these 10 
petite ankle skimmers because they're just gonna be way too short, nothing I would ever wanna purchase, so I'm not even gonna bother trying these on. And once again, I'm going to try to, uh, I don't know, bold all caps or whatever to please look at my initial style profile. I am not needing petite pants. Now in the unboxing, I forgot to show you the earrings that they sent. All right, so these are the earrings that they included and you can see their hoops with a little bit of like some blue stones. Those are really cute. Now, depending on the price, these might be something I would consider keeping because I do like those. They look, they feel to be nice and light. They're, they're a cute pair of earrings. So I'll have to see how much these are. Possible keeper. All right, now we're going to go on to, I call this a shacket, but you know, this is actually very lightweight. I don't, I think this is more of just a shirt. This is, this is not at all thick, so I probably misspoke when I was unboxing it and called it a shacket. But this is a really, really soft fabric. And depending on how this looks on me with the coloring, I would consider this because this is like a cozy lounge type piece to wear. I could actually wear this out too with jeans, but this is a cute top, I think. So it's really, like like I said, extremely soft. All right, I wanted to get close to show you the coloring and the fabric. I believe it's like taupe is the, the base color. So it's got the, the button cuff. It's got the pocket. I've got it just left open. But honestly, depending on the price of this one, it's something that I would consider. It's really comfortable, really very soft and cozy feeling. So I do like this one from Z Supply. So I, I do like this one. All right, now the tank is my own and we're gonna go on to these sweatpants. Let me step back here. All right, so you can see they're a little bit higher than ankle, but they're sweatpants, so the length of these ones does not bother me at all. It does have the elastic banding at the ankle. And these sweatpants do have pockets here. It is just an elastic waist, there's no drawstring. Let me pull this shirt up so that you can get a better view. So, I mean, they're not a bad pair of sweatpants. I just don't know if I love them, but there's really nothing wrong with them. They are a comfy pair of sweatpants, but I just can't see me wanting to keep these here. But now I thought I would just take off this shirt and I'm gonna try on that really thick cardigan over these sweatpants. So I'll be right back. All right, here I've got on that really thick cardigan. Let me get close so you can see the knitting details here. And you can see too, like the sleeves, they're really big, wide sleeves. But I can tell you over here, let me see, I don't know if you can zoom in. It's already, there's already a pull right here. And I looks to me like there's almost some pilling already here on the underarm. So that's kind of funny. I can tell you right now, I don't love this sweater on me. The sleeves are really big and loose and they just, I don't know if they're kind of bothering me. The sweater itself, extremely soft. It's a really soft fabric, but I don't know. I'm just not loving it enough to even consider this one. Gave it a try. All right, let me go ahead and change and I'll be back with the next few pieces. All right, we're gonna go on to the next sweater. And this one is, I think, a really cute sweater, but unfortunately, it's a little bit itchy. So it's already got a strike against it. But let me get closer to show you the fabric. So it's that pretty oatmeal. I like the mock neck, it's not too tight. It's also the raglan sleeve, and you can see it's a looser fit, and it is one of the shorter sweater lengths, too. I think the styling of this one is really cute, but unfortunately, it's making me kind of itch. It's so funny to me, it's probably got acrylic in here, but some acrylic sweaters don't bother me at all, and some do, so I'm never really sure 
I can't rule out all acrylic because like I said, sometimes they're fine. But this one is definitely making me itch. So unfortunately, it's a cute sweater, but I'm not gonna be able to keep it. So this one will be going back. So I do have um, one top left to show you. So I will be right back with that. All right, I am back with the last piece. And it is this V-neck like tunic style sweatshirt. And I like the idea of these and they're great for lounging around your home with leggings and that type of thing, but it's black and I know black is not my most flattering color and I just, I don't love it enough, but let me get a little bit closer so you can see. It's kind of like that washed black and it does have the slits here, pretty high one on each side. It comes a little bit longer in the back. So there's really nothing wrong with this, but it's just, I'm not in love with it. I don't really love the color for me. So I know this one is gonna be going back. So unfortunately, this Wannable box was not everything I hoped it would be, but I will be right back for a wrap up and see if I'm gonna be keeping anything from this Cozy Tober box. All right, friends, I am back to wrap up this Wantable box and I just pulled out the pricing sheet to see what these items cost and if there's anything I want to keep from this box. So I didn't even bother trying on the size 10 petite. I'm really going to have to somehow find out why they are sending me petite pants when I am five foot nine. So this is, was another mystery. I know it was an accident the last time. I'm not sure the second time around. It's a little worrisome for me, but obviously these are going back. All right, this Maddie M, what are do, oh, they do call this a shacket. And I was wrong about the coloring. They are coloring this olive. I called it taupe. Um, how much is this one here? Oh my gosh, this is $109. I know I don't love this enough for $109, so this is definitely going back. I know I'm not keeping the black V-neck sweatshirt that's going back. This sweater, this sweater by Z Supply, although really cute, it was really itching me. So I know that one's going back. Wasn't crazy about the nude sweatpants, the quilted sweatpants, so those are going back. All right, and then this big, thick, chunky cardigan from Vigos. I think it looks really cute, but it looks like it's already starting to pill and snag, and I'm just really worried this would not very, hold up very well if it's already, I can see so many little spots on here. And I just didn't love it on, so this one's going back. Now, the earrings. How much are the earrings? The earrings are $34.50, and I actually had requested these off of the stream, but I do that sometimes. I request jewelry because then with a regular styling fee for Wantable, the $20, if it comes down to they include some jewelry and I don't like anything else, sometimes I buy the jewelry and then I don't feel like I just lost $20, but Honestly, I do not love these enough for $34.50, so those are going back. So I am really happy that I only spent $5 on this Cozy Tober box because I'm sending it all back. I'm not sure what's happening with my Wantable boxes because I have really received a lot of things that I love from Wantable in the past, but I feel like I'm in a really bad phase right now of getting some boxes that are just not for me. But before I leave, I wanna thank you so much for taking time out of your busy days to watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Bye.